going on, y'all? That's low. Key. Yeah, I'm a low key. So, what have you guys created today? Um, have you created something good, or have you created something bad, or have you just you just don't know what you created today because you haven't thought about it? So, I hope it's something good. But today we're going to talk about um, every person has the power to bless and multiply in their life. God gave us that power to either, it's supposed to be used to bless, to, to multiply everything in your life. So that means that you have the power to create you have the power not only just to create, but to multiply and make more of. Um, and not only just you, but those um, around you as well. Um, I think sometimes for a majority of us, we don't know that we can do that because we never thought about it. Um, being that we don't know who we are. Yeah. So, you must know who you are. You must know the power. You have to identify that power, which means that the power lies in your mind, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your subconscious mind. That's where it lies. And you have to impress upon your mind positive things and wipe out all lack and limitations. Because it's easy to feel lack. It's easy to feel limitations or see the limitations by looking at your, your situation and being programmed over the years of just that very thing. Yeah. Um, we have to change the way that we, we think, the things that we say, because... Your subconscious mind don't know that you joking. I hear, I used to hear, um, my grandma used to say, hard times to make a monkey eat pepper. And I used to think, like, what does that mean? I, I laughed because the way she said it was funny. But that is, they're joking. But your subconscious mind is soaking that, soaking that energy up. So you're trying to figure out what does that mean? Or um, I might as well go back to the pole house. Like you, you're joking, but your subconscious mind don't know that. You're introducing lack to your mind. You're introducing um, limitation to your mind. So now you're thinking on a poor energy level. That vibration, that's not of God. That's not of abundance. That's not of wealth. Rich people don't think like that. Yeah. They don't think like, oh, I might as well go to the pole house and they're rich. Nah, your mind is going to adjust. Wherever you are, it's going to adjust right there where you are. Um, meet you where you are. Yeah. So that means that you're in harmony with lack, limitation. Um, you're in harmony with negativity. You're in harmony with, and those around you are affected by that. Um, if you, your friends, if you're around your friends, your family, your wife, your husband, your kids, they, they watching you, they see that, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with wanting more, there's nothing wrong with, um, cause a lot of times I know growing up, um, I would hear people say, um, the rich people are greedy, or yeah, when we when we die we're gonna have all of everything we ever wanted and i feel like we can have that now we can have everything we ever wanted now so the only way to do that only way to to have that is to change your mind you gotta change your mind it's all in your mind whatever you feed your mind that's what that's what it's gonna do yeah um So, basically, we're talking about every man has the power to bless and multiply. So, if we're thinking in abundance, we're thinking on all levels, financially, spiritually, mentally, um, physically. You have the power to bless. And you also, because it does say in the Bible that the power 
think power lies in the tongue, the power of life or death. Yeah, yeah, it's in the tongue. Yeah, you got, um, most people, every person has the innate ability, um, to create spine, spontaneous creation. But coming up under family structure, um, you met with certain limitations at the most vulnerable vulnerable point in your life which is your childhood mm -hmm. where your mind is the most malleable mm -hmm. so you come up with all of these fake ceilings you know and it's a bunch of different traps along the way like you think you got to do this you go to this job because you got to build a life around it but it's a ceiling at that job mm -hmm. the friends that you were around it's a ceiling to the conversation that you can have with them. And it's crazy that you'll come to see that. Yeah. Why they are where they are. Mm -hmm. And then once you separate, most people can think in their mind, I want better, I want better. But when it comes to taking the physical action, to make the thought come to reality, 99% of people fail. Not because they truly fail, just because they gave up on what they was trying to do. Mm -hmm. So, everyone has the ability of spontaneous creation, but you have to drive it home with, um, consistency of your physical action like you have to fail mm -hmm. every day you gotta fail 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 until you get everything just right to where it'll come into alignment every every day ain't gonna be a good day every day ain't gonna be a bad day but you want to like understand why it was a bad day and how can we fail just a little bit less the next day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the main part about it. Uh, we brought up into a society where people is afraid of failing. So they go, they'd rather work at an unfulfilling job the rest of their life just to be able to pay the bills and die. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's because they thinking about being on the street. Mm -hmm. At least I ain't in poverty on the street. You know what I'm saying? So they all right doing what they doing because uh, they lack a self. Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's real. That's real. You got some solutions for them? Um, um, to get them back into the mindset where they able to create? Hmm. Solution based. So, in order to get back, I think first you have to understand, and I always start there, understand, I mean, nothing changes overnight. Like, it's not going to change overnight. Because we're talking about a program. Yeah, it definitely going to change overnight. That has been ran for years, you know, yeah. and you, you're just now waking up to it. Which means that now it's going to take a lot more effort, a lot more doing, a lot more writing, a lot more thinking, a lot more affirmations. Like, start start with your affirmations. Start with gratitude. Um, start with asking those questions. Like, ask God about those questions. Like, what am I, you know, how can I change this? Be around people that can, can help you change if necessary seek the information if not seek the information seek on ways how to how to build yourself up how to change your mindset it all it's all in your thinking and when you catch yourself and you substitute a negative thought with a positive thought you change your feeling you change that vibration everything else changes it's like it's like you um on your way to go to 
to the store, right? And you take in a certain direction and this is the direction that you're going and you are on that direction, right? Something happened, right? Where you can't keep going on that same road. So you either gonna stop and wait for whatever it is to go head on or are you you're gonna take a different route? And sometimes it's best that you you stop but not all like immediately go in. You gotta think about it and then just make a different decision. It's all in decisions. It's free will. You can do whatever you want. You yeah. can say whatever you want. Excuse me. You can be whatever you want, but it starts in your mind. You gotta change your thoughts. That's the first thing. You gotta change your thoughts. Affirm. Yeah. And Solution based, like that's the thing. Like that's the major that might go over a lot of people's head and that's a difficult that's a whole paradigm shift in itself to take accountability for your own thoughts and realize that whole time you've been thinking in a way that that wasn't serving you in the first place. Absolutely. You was pulling energy from a thought that wasn't serving you, so you was moving out of fear of loss instead of the understanding of the uh the understanding of the opportunity that lies ahead of you. So you know, mm -hmm. let's get back on the wagon. You got something else? Mm -hmm. I'm low. This is key, I'm a low key. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.